Good afternoon, friends. I am Reverend Nora Faust, the Associate Conference Minister for Congregational and Ministerial Excellence here in the Penn Central Conference. Today, I would like to talk with you a little bit about our spiritual practices in this time of pandemic. I want to start by reading Psalm 130. Out of the depths, I cry to you, O Lord. O Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my cry for mercy. If you, O Lord, kept a record of sins, who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness, therefore you are feared. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits. And in his word I put my hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than watchmen wait for the morning. Yes, more than watchmen wait for the morning. O Israel, put your hope in the Lord, for with the Lord is unfailing love, and with God is full redemption. God will redeem Israel from all their sins. I chose to read Psalm 130 because I just love this, this imagery of waiting as a watchman waits for the morning. Friends, what is it that your soul waits for in this time? I read to you out of uh, old onion skin Bible. I, I could have easily pulled that up on my cell phone and had it here on the screen so that it looked like I was looking more at you. But as I've thought about my spiritual practices in this season, I've had to adjust some things. I used to do uh, Lectio Divina a couple times a week with, with scripture on my phone. But in this season, I have turned to the, the paper scriptures to hold a book in my hand as I, as I think about what God is saying in this time. Other spiritual practices that I've turned to include this coloring page. I keep the pencils here on the, on the table. And any time I need five minutes or 10 minutes or 50 minutes of just quiet, I come to the table and color. Um, I think about uh, how my meditation practices have had to shift a little bit in this season from more of just a quiet meditation to a guided meditation where I can put on my headphones and, and escape and, and really get away uh, through through another's voice in ways that I, I, I don't traditionally practice meditation. Uh, for, for quite some time, I've had a knitter in the house, a guest in our home that was that kind of got stuck during the, the beginning of the pandemic and, and has, has been here for several weeks. Is knitting your spiritual practice? How, how might you have adapted it for this season of life? They, there are inward disciplines that we, we think about of prayer and fasting or meditation and study. How, how do you engage those right now? What, what do you do? I have enjoyed neighborhood walks that are physical exercise, but are also me getting out into the world for a few minutes. It is me quietly strolling with God, listening for God's voice through the birds or the breeze. I miss some of the outward practices that I used to engage regularly, including solitude and service. I've not had much solitude of late, uh, being in the house with, with all of my family here. What about you? Maybe you've had too much solitude and you're looking forward greatly to celebration and worship, some corporate practices. How have you adapted corporate practices in this season to, are you on Zoom? Are you on Facebook Live? How do you come together to worship God? No, we can't be in the buildings right now, but yes, yes, we can celebrate, we can perform service for one another. In fact, staying in your home is a service for one another. So as you engage in yoga or knit or pray or read scripture or 
practice Lectio Divina or meditate, whatever it is that you're doing to find your time with God to feed your spirit in this season, I encourage you to keep doing it, to stop at every water table. For friends, we are in a marathon together. Let us be refreshed by words of the Spirit, by words from God. Be well, friends. Be at peace. Be at peace. Take care.